Hi everyone, back to the more YouTube channel. It's Chris back with my rant stroke thought of the day. And uh, oh, this is a funny one, isn't it? Uh, be careful how I phrase this. I am paraphrasing from an article in the Daily Mail from local journalist Craig Hope. You probably know what I'm talking about. It is about our club captain Jamal Lascelles allegedly being involved in a bit of a punch up in uh, Newcastle City Centre on Sunday night. So I'm just having a little read through this if you bear with us i'm going to paraphrase the article from from keith so apparently the police are investigating a city center brawl involving newcastle captain jamal the cells in which it is claimed a gang of men threatened to shoot him and his little brother who's 19. Uh, officers from Northumbria police were called following the clash on westgate road in newcastle during the early hours of oh that's actually august the 20th so it was last sunday and now jamal the was on the bench against liverpool uh, yesterday at this time of recording um, so this is a real interesting one. So apparently this is when Lascelles had travelled back on Tyneside following uh, Newcastle's 1-0 defeat to Manchester City. And uh, he was on a night out with his younger brother and a friend. And the team had been given two days off by manager Eddie Howe. Um, they just left uh, the nightclub China White uh, when it said a man elbowed Lascelles' 19-year-old brother in the throat in an unprovoked attack. One onlooker said the defender stepped in and pushed the man away. Uh, it's also claimed... The bottle of vodka was thrown towards the cells, missed his head narrowly, and then a group of six to eight men allegedly then started attacking the cells and, and throwing punches and kicks at them and everything else. Now, you've all probably seen the video doing the rounds um, on social media that it's allegedly saying there's Jamal the cells. Some people have been saying there isn't Jamal the cells, he's not got tattoos in his arms and everything else. Some people saying it is Jamal the cells. But um, I'm just looking here at the rest of the article with Craig just to see what, what it's said in here, really. Um, so, uh, what is it saying here? So, it is saying that apparently, if it is Jamal Lascelles again, allegedly, uh, that he was acting out of self defense uh, throughout the incident, he was trying to look after his little brother. Uh, onlookers uh, are saying that they feared somebody was, was dead, uh, but they were unconscious for 15 minutes while the paramedics worked with them. Uh, yeah, th the Thumbria police didn't respond to this article from uh, Craig Cove, but Newcastle apparently are aware of the incident. They have seen the video and they said they've dealt with the matter internally now this is an interesting one so jamal lascelles has been linked recently with moves away from the club uh, and people have wondered what's going to happen there you know there's a lot of squad depth now a lot more squad depth uh, than there ever has been probably for the last five or six years in newcastle united given all the investment in the team um you wonder how much of a future jamal lascelles has at the club yes he's the club captain by name but kieran trippy is the club Club captain on the pitch, he plays pretty much every game, wears the armband. Everybody calls Kieran Trippier Newcastle captain, really. Um, so these these links to to I think Besiktas it was in Turkey came out in the media, and people are questioning whether Jamal Lasalle does he want more game time? He's 29 years old now, he's maybe got another two or three years left of his career. Does he want to go and have a couple of years in Europe and sample that, maybe play a bit of European football for those teams as well? Uh, or does he want to stick it out and be part of, of this journey at Newcastle United? Now, th this incident, if it is Lasalle's. And if anything comes off of it, could potentially accelerate a move from the club. I can't imagine that Eddie Howe would be too happy with the video that he's seen. Now, of course, if if it is Jamal and he's been protecting his brother, that's a situation that maybe a lot of people, you know, would do the same thing in that same circumstances as well. But one thing's for sure that the club will not want this kind of bad negative uh, PR uh, attached to it. Obviously, all the knives are out for Newcastle United in the media in general, anyway, given you know the the ownership and. The controversy around that it doesn't take a great deal uh, of people to jump and react i mean you know we had ridiculous comments in the in the post match against liverpool about about what what um uh, repercussions the owners would take on our players for losing the game it's pathetic really it really is so people don't need any reason to to jump on that bandwagon and i don't think any how amanda staveley Murdad uh, and everybody else involved would, would would want this kind of publicity to the football club. And it'll be interesting to see if Jamal Lascelles uh, makes a comment about this. If if it is indeed him in the video, I can't stress that more. It's allegedly Jamal Lascelles in the video. It's not been proven that it is. It's not been proven that it isn't. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see if Jamal Lascelles does come out with something uh, because he does seem like a very eloquent guy. He speaks very well. He fronts up a lot. You know, he has been that way ever since he... I remember that game against Southampton where he pulled a few senior players out and then he became club captain. And he's been a great servant for Newcastle United and a great role model for, for younger fans as well, and younger players. Um, so it's disappointing to see him potentially be sucked into something like this. I don't quite know why this happened uh, or how it happened and, and why Jamal was in that position. But, but you can never legislate 
for nutters, sorry, allegedly in that position. You can never legislate for nutters in this world. They're everywhere, and sometimes they happen to come across your path when you least expect them. And, you know, it could be fight or flight for a lot of people. So be interesting to see what happens here, what statement comes out from Jamal Cells and the club about this alleged incident, and just to see what, what plays out in the media as well. But let us know in the comments below what you guys think about this situation, if, if it is Jamal Cells uh, in the video. Are you disappointed? Um, you know, do, do you expect some kind of a, a comment? Do you expect some kind of a repercussions from the club? Do you think he might be moved on because of this reason? Let us know what you think, guys. We always like to hear from you. We we'll always smash a reply in as much as we can. And if you like this kind of thing, like the video, why not consider subscribing as well? We've got loads of room for you and ever more. We're over 5,000 subs now. Loads of content. One live show every Monday at 10 o'clock. And uh, pop-up videos just like the thought of the day one that you've seen now. So smash that button. You won't regret it, guys. Have a cracking day wherever you are, and we'll catch you later. Cheers. Bye.